Hello, this is Margot Vorlix from Simplicity, and today I'd like to tell you a little bit more about Simplicity Sync Drive. Sync Drive is an additional location in the Simplicity Desktop client from where you can access the files that live in a Simplicity folder without needing to sync them down first. Because of that, Simplicity is a very good solution for those situations where a Simplicity folder would not fit on your hard drive. Or for those situations where you're using a virtual desktop where there is, for example, not enough space to sync down the Simplicity folder. A lot of our customers are migrating their traditional network shares into Simplicity and therefore it is an ideal user experience for users who were used to that network share access experience. Let us look at how Simplicity Sync Drive appears to the end user and how they can access the files both online and also being offline. For this demo I will use a computer from Mr. Bob Sync. Bob Sync has already a few folders synced with Simplicity. In this case the My Documents folder has been enforced to be synced by an administrator and all the files in there are nicely protected. In the Simplicity folder we see some other folders that have been shared with Bob. And then you see here the S drive which is actually Simp Simplicity Sync drive. There is a folder called Group Share which would be too big to sync it down to my computer. The, the folder is two and a half gigabytes and you see that all the subfolders in there have a cloud icon over, overlay icon. That means at this moment this folder contains files which not have been completely synced down to the computer. But when I open a file, in this case a file of six megabyte, at that moment the file will be ad hoc synced down to my computer. And when the file is completely synced down, then at that moment the file can be opened. When I close the file, you will notice that the file has now a green check mark. It is available offline in a cache. And when I open it again, it opens immediately because it's in a cache. The cache can be configured by an administrator. And all the files which are older will disappear when the cache is completely be filled up. Let's look how it works for a movie. In this case, it's a, it's a large movie and the moment that I open it, it will start playing. So while this file is, being, is sinking down, the movie already starts playing. Now let's create a new document. Let's go here to the folder white paper and create a new Word document. We're going to call it a new white paper. And when I open it, I can just work on this document as I'm used to. When I'm done editing, I'm going to save my file. And we see that the file is available. When I change the document and I make a new version, the f that new version will also be synced to the cloud. As a user, I don't need to do anything. Everything will happen automatically. So what is a user experience then when there is no internet connection? For example, when you're working offline. So in, this, in order to simulate this, I'm going to disconnect the network cable from my machine. And we see below in the system tray that Simplicity has no internet connection. The files that have not been synced down cannot be opened. But the Word document that is already synced is nicely available. I can even modify the file being offline. And when I save my changes, as soon as the computer picks up internet access somewhere, it will upload the file. We notice the yellow uh, overlay icon, which means this file is about to sync. And when I restore the, the network connection, 
you see that the client picks up that, uh, that, that internet access and it will upload the file to my storage vault. Storage vault can be in the cloud or it can be on-premise. So how does this look like from an admin perspective? How do I convert regular Simplicity folders into a sync drive folder? Let's say I've got a folder called My Team. And because I'm sharing this with a lot of people, this folder might become too big in order to uh, access it or sync it to a local machine. I have actually shared it already with Mr. Peter Sync. And if you look at his computer, we see that he has already synced it down. In this case, there are some files in it. And Simplicity has synced down that file to the location Simplicity folders. So as an administrator, I'm now going to log in. I'm going to search for that folder. And I'm going to convert that regular Simplicity folder into a sync drive folder. Because I don't want users to sync it down to their local PC anymore. I search for the folder My Team. I see that it has been shared to Mr. Peter Sync. And now I'm going to convert that Simplicity folder in a Sync Drive folder in order to access it only from a Sync Drive client. I get a warning saying that from that moment on the folder will no longer be synced. And in some cases, depending on your policy, we will even remove the folder from its original the Simplicity folder from its original location. I go ahead with the change and I'm going to save that and we will see that from now on the folder on my desktop will no longer be synced. That will happen automatically. The Simplicity client picks up the change. It will stop syncing the file and also on Peter's computer we see that the folder is no longer synced. Like I said, if depending on your policy we can even remove the folder from its original location. But now my so available as a network share. Thank you for watching and have a good day.